Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your windows accent color. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, everybody, now that we're over here at the computer, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing this on a Windows 10 machine. However, the steps are very similar to Windows 8 and uh, Windows 8.1. They are a little bit more different on Windows 7. And Windows 7 doesn't necessarily have like accent colors. They have what they call uh, Microsoft Arrow, which is just some special effects that it has. And Windows 10 kind of has that incorporated in with it, but the actual accents really started in Windows 8 and up. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is just get to an empty space somewhere on your desktop and your desktop is typically where all of your icons and everything are housed. So as you can see here, I've got a nice pretty background and we're just gonna find an empty space on it. We're gonna right click and then come on down and left click on personalize. Once you do that, a new window is going to pop up and it's gonna give you a few different options in here. The one that we're mainly focused on is over here on the left hand side and it's called colors. Go ahead and left click on colors. And again, it will take you to a new window or a new place where you can go in and you can choose an array of different colors. And this is where we're going to spend most of our time for this particular video. Uh, typically, when you set a new background, like a new wallpaper or something like that, you can actually have it set up to where it will automatically pick an accent color that will complement that actual background. In this case, I do have it turned off. I believe actually Windows released or Microsoft re released an update that uh, actually disabled it by default. It used to be on but you can come back in here and turn that back on if you do like that. So if we click on that, you can see that the background that I have here has some greens, some nice greens in it, and it went through and it changed the accent color over to a green type of color. Now, it used to actually also change your start menu, or your, I'm sorry, your taskbar, but it actually doesn't do that anymore. They default check that off as well. So we're gonna close out of that, go back into where we just were, and you can see that we've got a bunch of different colors we can choose from. And then you can also come in here, you can click on choose a custom color and you can go in here and you can just really fine tune this how you want it to look. And then of course down here, it will give you a preview on what it will look on various types of windows or Explorer windows. And you can click on less or more. And if you really want to go into the nitty gritty stuff of how the colors work, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, but for now, we're just going to keep it pretty basic. You can choose a new color, click on done. And then what you can see is it had changed the color, the accent color to this right here. So if we go back into the colors box, we're gonna scroll down a little bit. So we were just right here under custom color and uh, you can do, you can enable or disable what they call transparency, transparency effects. And what that does is of course, if you look right here on the taskbar, it might be a little bit hard to see, but you can actually see that it is somewhat transparent. You can see the background through it. So if we flip that switch, you'll notice that it becomes a nice solid color. So I personally, I love the transparency. It makes it look more modern and just has a nicer feel to it. So I'm gonna re-enable that and you can see that you can kind of see the background uh, once again through it. So going a little bit further down, show accent color on the following surfaces, start taskbar, uh, the start menu, the taskbar and the action center. Action center is this guy over here. If you click on the little uh, chat bubble, this is your action center. Also notif the notification center as well. So if we do this and let's say we want it to be on the start, the taskbar and the action center, you'll notice that the taskbar, the start menu and the action center all just change to that type of accent color that you just chose. And again, if we don't want that on, just uncheck the box and everything goes back to like a, a black transparency. So uh, title bars, this is typically on your windows, uh, your explorer. So if we bring this up, you'll notice right here across the top has turned to that accent color as well. So if we go in, let's choose a new color. Let's do a kind of like a grayish blue and go back into that window. You'll notice that the top bar also changed to that color as well. So again, you can kind of come in here and you can just fine tune the colors and just make it more of a personal, more of a you on these computers. And then of course, if you want to choose your default app mode and then it has light and dark, what that means is you'll notice that this background is white. If we choose dark, it'll change it to a dark background. That might make things a little bit easier to see. You can kind of see more contrast between the different colors. So it's all kind of up to you on how you want to personalize your computer. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. Hope you're able to learn something today with your Windows computer. Don't forget to hit the subscribe to stay tuned for more videos just like this. And of course, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Give it a like and we will see you next time.